some people need to be in ketosis for medical reasons while others need to be in a fat burning mode for athletic competitions. Whatever the reason, I've conjured up tips on how to get into ketosis in 24 hours. Starting tips on how to get into ketosis in 24 hours. 1. Start intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is like peanut butter and jelly, like Batman and Robin, like a fork and spoon. But seriously, by prolonging the time in which you eat your first meal, your body begins to enter a fat burning stage, ketosis. I emphasize intermittent fasting with the ketogenic diet because it speeds up the whole process in depleting your glycogen storages. My recommendation is to skip breakfast completely. A popular protocol that many people praise is the 16 to 8 hour fast. This means you do not eat for 16 hours then allow yourself to have an 8 hour eating window. In my case, I stop eating food at 8 p.m. then I don't eating that contains calories until 12 p.m. the next day. 2. Drink coffee. Caffeine has the powerful effect of curbing your appetite. If you are just starting on intermittent fasting, drinking coffee in the morning will vastly help your hunger cravings. Don't like drinking coffee? Buy caffeine pills or drink a shit ton of tea. Whatever your preference in consuming caffeine. I definitely recommend some caffeine in order to adjust to fasting daily. Once your body has become accustomed to fasting every day, you should cut the amount of caffeine you drink. We have a hormone called ghrelin which is responsible for your hunger. Combining caffeine at the start of fasting will help your hunger hormone adjust to your new keto. If lifestyle. 3. Do low intensity exercise at the beginning. You need to be cautious of your stress levels when trying to go keto. Intense exercise can increase your cortisol, stress hormone, which will make it harder for you to get into a state of ketosis. How to get into ketosis in 24 hours? I highly recommend performing exercises such as time under tension, tut, workouts accompanied with slow cardio such as very light jogging, walking, hiking and anything that doesn't involve your heart rate to go up too high. Avoid high intensity exercises such as heavy compound lifts and sprints at the beginning of your keto adaptation. Once your body has gotten used to using fat for energy, only then should you start performing high intensity exercises. If you are already an intermediate, advanced lifter or athlete, then you don't need to start off with low intensity exercises. But if you are like the majority of the population who doesn't work out every single day, performing tut exercises and slow cardio will drastically speed up your keto adaptation. 4. Drink MCT oil, also known as medium chain triglycerides. MCT oil is one of the quickest sources of energy that goes directly to your brain and body. It skips through your stomach and goes directly into your liver. It requires a very small amount of action from the liver which means it converts straight into energy in the form of ketones. I wouldn't really consider it a supplement because it's pretty much a food a very efficient one, but I do highly recommend it especially if you're just starting out and are looking on how to get into ketosis in 24 hours. Even people who don't follow a ketogenic lifestyle use MCT oil because it is such a great source of energy. Just be careful to not consume too much at the beginning. It has been known to cause some digestive issues if you take more than the recommended dosage. 5. Sleep Bear With Me Here I'm not telling you that sleeping is going to magically kick you into a fat burning mode, but I have had multiple clients who were complaining about not being in ketosis even after restricting their carbs, and most if not all of them proceeded to tell me how they were only getting around 6 hours of sleep. Our body is able to repair itself only while we are sleeping. It is absolutely crucial to get at least 7.5 hours of sleep a day at the beginning stages of your keto adaptation. Once your body has become used to using fats as its main energy source, only then should you compromise sleep here and there. I hope you've been able to get some quality advice on how to get into ketosis in 24 hours through this article. Some of the things I have told you above might seem very obvious but sometimes it's the things that are right in front of us that we tend to gaze over. The routines, habits, and regimens that you can stick to are the ones you should consider implementing. Everyone is looking for that quick fix these days. It's not going to sound glamorous but it's the routine that you can personally stick to that is going to produce the best results.